Hello, my name is Arend van Kampen. I've been working on sustainable systems design for the last 10 years or so. And uh, this uh, short video message is about uh, two equations, two formulas, and scientific physical formulas from physics, really, in combination with symbolism, uh, to express what is really going on and to simplify the complexity of all the global risks we see, the, the, this, the disconnection between uh, media and populations and uh, news and information and all, and all that. So, therefore, I think that we have a possibility to, if we use these um, equations, that we can adjust course and redesign life in a sustainable manner without being harmful. Now, one equation, and I'll explain them, consists of a sustainable system, how to achieve a sustainable system, sustainable life, balanced uh, community, social cohesion, is that this symbol is the symbol for inf infinity, um, continuity, evolution, and can be achieved by Life, the Egyptian symbol Ankh for life, living systems, industries, business, uh, politics, plus information, all of it, all information, all the time. Within the boundaries of reality, we call, or the limits of reality, we call realimitait, and always multiply dependent on the perception of the people, the perception. So the perception problem is, a, is the cause of all. Um, let's say, um, entropy disorder at this time. And I expressed it like this. So, unsustainable system towards disorder. So when we have a wrong or a false perception and we see life as something that we can live without information, then we are not regarding reality as being limited, so beyond the limitation of reality. We then cause and or accelerate entropy, which is the word disorder. This is a phenomenon because now we can see that because information is not used or even censored or suppressed or conversations are not possible anymore, then we always end up in this entropic state, in a disorderly state, which then expressed in chaos, revolt, blood in the street. We see it now happening. So why is that? Well, it's very easy or simple to, to clarify it like this. We have limitations of reality, these lines. So when we steer our lives within those limitations of reality, or also known as boundaries of functionality, by communication, information, uh, cognition, we can stay within those boundaries, but when we go outside of them, by false perception, by, for example, not acknowledging reality, lying, cheating, not allowing contradicting information, we always get entropy and we cannot control that system any longer. So we, at the moment, cannot solve the corona crisis because we are here in this area. Information, all of it, also contradicting or anti-political information, is needed to put into the system for it to learn and to adapt and to adjust. So the information, for example, about collateral damage, a lot of information about that, about young people without any perspective, cannot go to school, suicides, blood in the street. Um, a lot of collateral damage is being done by the measures that are not considering information. This is the crux. By the perception of the people, the politicians, that they are outside of nature, that they can control nature by laws, regulations, police brutality. This is impossible because information cannot be divorced or separated from the natural world. It cannot be. Atoms 
synapses, nerve synapses, are information carriers. And everything consists on these atomic reality. So we are built, our building blocks contain information. We cannot cut them off. We cannot say this information we don't like, we just disregard it. This is a physical law that prevents it. And that law I try to express in these two equations. So what we do now is to find a method and you can apply these equations to everything we see now. We see an equation now applicable to this one because we are really in disorder and we cannot control it. So now we have to adjust to the sustainable equation and the only thing, the very simple thing to do that is to allow all information to restore conversation and to create cooperation. Cooperation between politicians, businessmen, the people. If we don't go here, we'll stay here and our own survival is jeopardized because also this equation applies to the destruction of natural habitats, the creation of a virus possibly in a bioweapons uh, lab, the uh, implosion of social cohesion, because the perception problem, the perception that we are the masters of the universe, this is wrong, false, and has caused 6,000 years of civilizational collapses in various eras in, in our history. Also, when we try to escape history, and George Satanyana said, then we are condemned to repeat it. So, for example, destruction of statues, the destruction of historic books, the changing of historic books is impossible because it goes beyond the law of physics. And no one, not even politicians, nor me, nor you, can escape natural laws of physics. So I hope this message gives you some insight how nature works, how nature can continue with itself, always through communication, information, cognition and cooperation we call symbiosis. Thank you very much.